Dear Doug Ford, this is what happens when you open up things that are not run by a private company like Searfair and Canada's Wonderland and other places and allow people to roam free without proper security guards, social distancing stickers, and other things that help prevent situations like this. This right here is exactly why our cases are climbing in Ontario. The funny thing is, you don't see the media reporting on this. The funny thing is, you're not allowing places like Canada's Wonderland to open up that actually have good measures in place. The security guards are ready and trained to social distance using their apps and Google. They have stickers. They will be dispersing crowds. They won't even be allowing people near each other in line like you saw here or riding the attractions. This is absolutely insane. By the way, masks aren't required here. Masks are required at Canada's Wonderland, but masks aren't required here. Nope. In fact, there's a lot of people here not wearing masks. And what's weird is I honestly thought Canada was doing really well wearing masks. In my hometown, Aurora, in York Region, everywhere I go, there's people wearing masks. Here? Very few. This is how Wave 2 starts. But there's been no mention of it. There's been absolutely no mention of what's going on at Niagara Falls. The media, like, ignores it. There'll be, like, an outbreak at a farm with, like, 23 farmers that get it, and the media is all over it. But the media isn't all over this. And this right here? Look at it. This looks worse than before what is going on in the world right now. This is crazy. Like... I, I, the funny thing is, the person who filmed this for me, thank you so much, Cole, by the way, the person that filmed this for me told me it was bad, and I literally didn't even look at the footage. I was like, oh, yeah, it's bad. It, it's just probably a lot of people, but social distancing is still taking place. No, this is bad. Like, this is bad, and there's kids, and there's elderly, and there's, there's just everyone, everywhere. It's insane. You can't hear the sounds. You know what? After my voiceover, I'm going to put the raw clips too, for you to just take in, because I feel like you just have to take it in. It's crazy. Like I, I'm, I'm literally sitting here in shock. I was in Discord and I was like, guys, I gotta go make a video. This is so bad. Such that clip with the go kart track. Like no one, like there was zero space for the go kart track. The queue for the Ferris wheel, a little more space, but the go kart track area. Oh my goodness! Look at this. The arcades are open. The haunted houses are open. There's scare actors touching people. It's bad. And you're telling me, Doug Ford, and health people, inspectors, professionals, that a place like Canada's Wonderland can't open with 10,000 to 15,000 capacity? There's easily over that here. And by the way, go to the falls. It's worse. But wow. I'm telling you right now that it spread just in this night alone. I'm shocked. Comment down below how you guys honestly feel about this this footage. Um, and yeah, I'm just really disappointed. And there's definitely, uh, this is why, like, honestly, the beaches and everything, it's gone crazy. You see I'm talking about the beaches. You need private companies to open up that can have security and stickers and watch over it, not places like this. Anyways, I'm not going to say I hope you enjoyed this video. Just hopefully this was an eye opener. Wear your mask, social distance. Stay safe, guys. Bye.